How are we going to illustrate a quadratic equation? Know how in this video. Hi learners, today we're going to talk about quadratic equation. So, we define quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2. Now, ang quadratic equation can be written in standard form. So, in standard form, it can be written as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Ang ax squared ay ang ating quadratic term. Okay, so ito yung quadratic term natin. Quadratic term. Ang bx naman ay ang ating linear term. And c is our constant term. For example, we have 3x squared minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, si 3x squared ay ang ating quadratic term. Si negative 4x naman ay ang ating linear term. At si positive 5 ang ating constant term. Ang tanong, kung mawawala yung ibang terms, pwede pa ba natin siya makonsider na quadratic equation? Halimbawa, kung nawala yung constant term or 5. Can we still consider this one as a quadratic equation? So, the answer is yes. Okay. Halimbawa naman, kung ang linear term natin ay 0 or walang linear term. So, pwede pa rin natin siyang ma-consider na quadratic equation. Pero, kung nawala yung quadratic term natin or equal to 0 siya, then, we cannot consider it anymore as a quadratic equation. Kasi nga, by definition, ang quadratic equation, ang highest degree niya, should be equal to 2. Sa madaling salita, hindi pwedeng mawala ang quadratic term. Okay, let's try this one. So, yung activity natin uh, is asking which of the following equations are quadratic. So, alamin natin kung saan dito sa 7 na given equation ang quadratic, sa naman yung hindi. Para madali nating malaman kung quadratic equation siya, titignan laman natin yung variables niya. At kung ang variables niya, ang highest degree is 2, therefore, the equation represents a quadratic equation. Kung hindi naman, then it is not a quadratic equation. Okay. Let's try number 1. So, sa number 1, we have 4m minus 2 is equal to 7. So, kung titignan natin yung variable niya na m, ang exponent ng m is 1, or positive 1. Tama? Okay. So, since ang definition natin ng quadratic equation, dapat ang degree niya is 2, or yung highest exponent ng variable natin is 2. So, sa madaling salita, ang number 1 does not or is not a quadratic equation. Okay. So, since 1... Yung kanyang highest exponent, this is a linear equation. Okay? Again, not a quadratic equation. How about number 2? We have x squared minus 5x plus 10 is equal to 0. Okay? So, kung titignan natin yung variables niya, may term na kung saan ang variable x, ang highest degree or ang degree is equal to 2. So again, alam natin na ang quadratic equation, the degree should be equal to 2. Therefore, ang pangalawang example ay quadratic equation. Okay. How about number 3? We have 12 minus 4x is equal to 0. Okay. Kung papansinin natin yung variable na x, ang degree niya or ang exponent niya is 1. So, ang degree ng equation na ito is 1. Therefore, this is a linear equation. So, hindi siya quadratic equation. Paano naman yung 
pang-apat, we have 3t squared minus 5t is equal to negative 8. Okay. So, yung variable niya, ang highest degree is 2. Okay. So, since 2 ang highest degree niya, therefore, ang number 4 is a quadratic equation. Number 5, 7 minus 3x plus x squared is equal to 0. Okay. Although hindi siya nakasulat in written or in standard form, okay lang, basta titignan natin yung variable niya. We are making sure na ang variable niya is or my uh, exponent na 2. So, 5 is a quadratic equation. How about number 6? We have 3x times the quantity x plus 4 is uh, quantity minus 8 is equal to 0. Kung titignan natin, ang x niya, ang highest degree is 1. However, meron tayong operation dito na multiplication. So, kailangan muna natin i-multiply or distribute si 3x sa loob ng parenthesis or sa expression na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Tignan natin kung ano yung mangyayari. So, we have 3x times x that would be equal to 3x squared. 3x times positive 4, that would be equal to 12x. Then, copy minus 8, then it is equal to 0. Okay. Ngayon, pansinin natin kung ano yung nangyari sa variable natin. So, yung variable x natin, ang highest degree niya is 2. Therefore, number 6 is a quadratic equation. Okay, paano yun naman yung number 7? So, ang y, ang highest degree niya or ang exponent niya is 1. Okay? Pero, kung papansinin natin, yung y plus 2 na expression na paloob sa parenthesis is kailangan pa nating i-raise sa power ng 2. So, we still need to simplify this one in order for us to decide whether it is quadratic equation or not. Okay, let's simplify this one or this binomial. So, we can use square of a binomial. So square the first term, multiply the two, the first and the last term by 2. Okay? Then, square the last term. So, square the first term. y squared is equal to y squared. Multiply the first term, the last term, by 2. Okay? So, you will have y times 2. It's, it's, uh, it is equal to 2y times 2. You will have 4y. Then, square the last term. 2 squared is equal to 4. Okay, positive 4. Then, bring down negative 7 is equal to 0. Then, simplify. So, we will have y squared plus 4y. 4 minus 7 is equal to negative 3. So, minus 3 is equal to 0. So, titignan natin ngayon yung simplified form ng ating equation. So, mapapansin natin nyo yung y, ang highest degree niya, or ang highest exponent niya is 2. Okay? Therefore, number 7 is a quadratic equation. This time, we're going to write the quadratic equations into standard form. So, the instruction is to write the following quadratic equation in standard form. Then, at the same time, we're going to identify the values of A, B, and C. So, remember, the standard form of a quadratic equation is written as A, X squared plus B, X plus C is equal to 0. Okay, let's try number 1. So, we have 5X plus 3X squared is equal to negative 8. So, yung una natin gagawin, make sure na lahat ng terms malipat natin sa left side ng equation. So, this is the right side, this is the left side. So, sa left side ng equation. Okay. So, ang pinakaunang isusulat is ang term na may x squared. Okay? Or may literal coefficient na x squared. So, we have here 3x squared. So, 3x squared. Okay. After nyan, Next na sisulat natin ay yung linear form. Okay? Or ang linear term. So, ang linear term natin ay ang 5x. So, ang sign ng 5x is positive. Kaya magiging plus 5x. 
So, kung mapapansin natin, yung constant term natin, yung C, ay nasa right side ng equation. So, kailangan natin siyang itanspose or ilipat. Using, so since negative 8 ito siya, we're going to use the addition property of equality. So, yung negative 8, matwa-transpose sa left side ng equation, magiging positive 8. So, plus 8 is equal to 0. So, kompleto na yung mga terms na kailangan natin. Yung quadratic term, yung linear term, at ang constant term. Ngayon, aalamin natin yung values ng A, B, at saka C. So, pag sinabi natin values ng A, B, and C, kukunin lang natin yung numerical coefficient ng bawat term. Okay? So, sa first term, we have A. Ang numerical coefficient natin is equal to 3. So, A natin would be equal to 3. How about si B? Ang B natin is ang numerical coefficient ng ating second term. So, that is equal to 5. Lastly, ang C natin is equal to our constant term. So, our constant term is equal to 8. So, C is equal to 8. Okay, example number 2. We have 7 minus 2x squared is equal to 4x. So, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, dapat unahin natin isulat yung quadratic term natin. So, in this uh, example, ang quadratic term natin ay C, negative 2x squared. So, siya yung uunahin natin isusulat. Negative 2x squared. <clears throat> Remember, pag hindi mo transpose o nilipat sa ibang side ng equation, yung bawat term, ang sign niya ay hindi magbabago. Next, is ang linear term. Yung linear term niya is equal to 4x. So, since ang 4x ay nasa right side ng equation, kailangan natin siyang i-transpose or ilipat sa left side ng equation. So, using the subtraction property of equality, si positive 4x ay magiging negative 4x. So, transpose it sa left side, magiging negative 4x. Next is uh, 7, or yung constant term natin na sa left side na ng equation. So, kailangan na lang natin siyang i-copy or bring down. So, we have plus 7 or positive 7 is equal to 0. So, sa madaling salita, ang value ng A natin is equal to negative 2. Ang value naman ng B is equal to negative 4. At ang C natin, or yung constant term, is equal to positive 7. Tanong, pwede ba na ang value ng A is negative? So, pwede. Okay. Uh, in this case, pwede naman natin gawing positive yung uh, value ng A. So, paano siya gagawin? Kailangan lang natin i-multiply ang whole equation by negative 1. Okay. So, negative 1 times the uh, times negative 2 or times the quantity negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. So, lahat ng signs ng mga terms natin magbabago. So, we will have 2x squared plus 2x squared plus 4x minus 7 is equal to 0. So, in this case, mag, uh, magbabago rin yung values natin or yung signs ng values ng A, B, at saka C. A now becomes positive 2. B is positive 4. And C will become negative 7. Okay, let's proceed with example number 3. So, 12 plus x squared is equal to negative 8. Write the quadratic term. So, you will have x squared, positive x squared. Next would be the linear term. So, kung mapapansin natin, walang linear term. So, proceed agad tayo sa uh, constant term. So, ang constant term natin, we have 12. So, bring down positive 12. And negative 8 is also a constant term. So, pwede natin siyang ilipat sa left side ng equation. Kaya, ang negative 8 is magiging positive 8. So, we use the uh, addition property of equality. Kaya, naging positive 8 C, uh, negative 8. After natin siya ma-transpose. Then, we're go we can uh, combine positive 12 and positive 8. 
So, the final quadratic equation will be x squared plus 20 is equal to 0. And it follows that a or the values of a would be 1. Okay, bakit 1? Uh, yung 1, supposedly yung x squared or quadratic term natin may numerical coefficient na 1. Kaso nga lang, hindi na natin kailangan pang isulat as 1 x squared. Okay, automatic. Pag wala siyang nakalagay na uh, numerical coefficient, that is positive 1. Okay? Kung may negative na sign, that would be negative 1. So in this case, ang uh, value ng A natin is equal to positive 1. How about ang B? So, since walang linear term, so ang value ng B natin would be equal to 0. Okay, last would be C or the constant term. The constant term is equal to 20. Okay, so C would be equal to 20. Okay, let's have now the last example. So we have the quantity x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 5 is equal to 2. So kung mapapansin natin, itong dalawang uh, binomial can be uh, multiplied using FOIL method. So again, kung may mga given na gaya nito, we need to simplify it first bago natin siya i, uh, isulat in standard form. So again, using FOIL method, we have the first terms, x times x, that would be equal to x squared. Okay, the outer term, x times positive 5. So that is plus 5x or positive 5x. Next, the inner terms, negative 5 times x. So, we will have negative 5x. Then, the last terms, negative 5 times positive 25 would be equal to negative 25. Then, we can, pwede natin uh, itranspose agad si positive 2. So, si positive 2, ngayon, malilipat sa left side ng equation using subtraction property of equality. Kaya, si positive 2 magiging negative then equal to 0. Okay, this time we're going to combine similar terms. So bring down x squared. 5x minus 5x is equal to 0. So matatanggal na siya. Negative 25 minus 2. That is equal to negative 27 is equal to 0. Let's now identify the values of a, b, and c. So since nasulat na natin siya in standard form, ang A natin would be equal to 1. Again, wala hindi nakasulat yung uh, positive 1. So, automatically this is positive 1. Okay, kasi nga yung given natin or yung quadratic uh, term natin is positive x squared. Next, B. So, what is the value of B? So, kung mapapansin natin, walang uh, linear term. Therefore, B is equal to 0. How about C? C would be equal to negative 27. So, ganito lang kadali uh, magsulat or isulat ang quadratic equation into its standard form at alamin kung ano yung values ng A, B, and C. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section and we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions because remember every problem has a solution at kung math ang problema ninyo ako ang kagapay ninyo ako ang sir ninyo